When you receive your lifetime replacement string for the Ernie Ball Volume Junior pedal, you'll get three things. You'll get a right angle pick. This will help you install the string easier. We have a short string and we have a longer string. To start with the string replacement, we must remove the front panel. We flip the pedal over and these two screws are what we need to take out. Once we unscrewed it, we can now remove this front part and move it to the side. This gives us better access to the string. Now we're gonna use this right angle pick to uh, put it through the loop of the spring. Hold on to the pot and pull on the spring and we're gonna unhook it from the original string. And now we can remove the original string. We have to remember that the string threads in from this side, goes forward. And now at the back of the pedal, we remove the spring from the back string. And before we take the string out, we notice that it threads in from back to front. We take it out. Now we take the small string and we're gonna loop it through the back. And we're gonna put it under this plastic wheel. And we can use this pick tool to pull the string to the side and attach the spring. And then we're gonna feed the spring in. Now we're gonna feed the string down as we push on the pedal. This is the position we want it to be in. Now we turn it forward. We're gonna use the pick tool. So we're gonna pull the string a little tighter. Just let it sit there. So the hook is facing up. Now we're gonna take the longer cable and we're gonna pass it through the loop here. So we're gonna go from the back to the front and make sure this cable is nicely pinched. I like to hold it in my right hand and then with my left hand finger, I like to bend it and just put it through the loop. It might take a little bit practice, but once we get it through, it's gonna be good. Okay, so once it's through, we're gonna now wrap it around this pop. Okay, so this is where the right angle pick comes in handy very nicely. So we're gonna make our first round. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna keep the string to the left and we're gonna wrap around again. I like to use my fingers in combination with the pick here. Okay, so we can use the pick now to pull both of the cables back. And we can also use the pick to slide the cables to the left. Keep them nice and neat against each other. And we're gonna wrap again. So it's holding with my finger and I'm gonna pull it back with this pick. All right. So once we wrapped it around, we can kind of organize the string here a little bit. And we wanna make sure that the volume is rolled all the way forward this way. So we're gonna pull on this loop and hold the pot. And then with our left finger, we're gonna just hold it like that. We're gonna grab the spring with this pick. We're gonna bring it together. We're gonna attach it like that. All right, so the hard part is over now. So we should rock this pedal back and forth a couple times, let the string find its place. And now we're ready to do the final calibration of the pot to make sure that when you rock it back, the volume is completely off. And when you rock it forward, it's full volume. So what I like to do, grab the pick again, and we're gonna loosen it by pulling towards the pot. And then we're gonna make sure the pot is in full counterclockwise position when we're looking at it from the front here. And then we want to rock the pedal forward just a little bit. So while holding the top part of the pedal with my thumb, I'm gonna hold the pot with my left finger and we're gonna pull on the string and we're gonna roll the pot counterclockwise. And as you notice, the volume pedal stops here, not reaching the stopper quite yet. And that's the perfect spot to be in for this final adjustment. So the last adjustment is we pull towards the pot and we 
with our left hand, push up on the, the rocking part of the volume pedal and it should slide into place to where we have zero volume when we roll back. Perfect. Now that the new string is installed, we can reattach this front part again. So if you're not comfortable performing this mod, you can always send it in to me and I can change the string for you. Or you can buy these pedals new with the lifetime string already installed. 